All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, April 27th, and we are getting ready to take down a bunch of Valentini Montepulciano del Bruzzo tonight. The greatest producer in Italy, or one of them. Speaking of great producers in Italy, we have got some 2007 Vernellos that are coming in now. This looks like another incredible vintage, and there are a few people that I buy their wines every year, regardless of whether I get a chance to taste them or not, and Canalicchio di Sopra is one of them. This is one of the old school producers. Uh, Primo Pacente founded this winery in 1962, and before that, really, there wasn't anything but Beyond Asante that was uh, considered great in this area. Barbie, well, okay, Barbie was there. I don't know if they were considered great at that time, but they do make some pretty good Brunello there. This producer, one of my favorite producers, like I said, I buy their wines every year, whether I get to taste them or not. And off vintages, uh, they don't make it. 2002, they just made Rosa. They didn't make any Brunello at all. These guys make about 2,000 cases of wine, the total production. A uh, few hundred cases of Reserva Brunello, only in the greatest vin vintages. And uh, Reserva Brunello was released uh, one year later, so the 2007 Brunellos are on their way in. Therefore, 2006 Reserva on its way in. And both vintages back-to-back -back killer vintages for Montalcino. You've had all of the critics now review these wines, the Wine Spectator, um, the Wine Advocate, and of course James Suckling, who's no longer with the Wine uh, Spectator. He's got his own publication, his own website. He's rated several wines, 100 points from this 2007 vintage, and that's what we like to see as retailers, 100 point scores. Well, Canalicchio never gets one, and I'm glad to see that because their Brunello de Montalcino 2007, we can sell you for an incredible price. Well, what I feel is an incredible price for one of the greatest producers from one of the greatest wine producing regions in the world. This 2007 has a lovely pretty nose with classic black spice, tar, fresh porcini mushrooms, fine herbs, licorice spice, wild strawberry fruit, really complex bouquet of aromas here, chunky fruit on the palate, lots of spice and nuance to that wild berry and fine herbs, uh, fine tannin showing up on the finish. Really Really big wine. This wine is classic Brunello. Uh, lots of mineral on the finish, that licorice spice also. Really lovely balance and freshness holding everything together. Hey, you know, this wine just released and it's five years old. Well, it needs another five or ten years in the cellar. Hey, we I've included everything we've got from this producer. We've got wines going all the way back to 1995, another classic vintage in Tuscany. We've got 1995 Reserva the wine they just make a few hundred cases of in only the best vintages. Incredible value from one of the greatest producers uh, coming from Montalcino today, Canalicchio de Sopra. I'll never forget the event we've done with uh, Francesco, now the third generation. These guys all live in the same compound, the area. The grandfather, the father, Francesco, one of the three uh, uh, children that's now running the property. He was only 20 years old when he came here to drink with us at a vertical tasting we did going back to 1981 and off vintage, which still shows beautifully today. And uh, he introduced, I introduced him, and he told everybody that he was uh, just 20 years old. And I said, Francesco, you are got to be 21 years old to drink in this country, buddy. 21, 21. Well, he's 21 now. All right, well, check it out. Everything we've got from Canalicchio to Sopra on this offering. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.